Today our Bible study is Hebrews chapter 9, verses 11 through 15. The author of Hebrews has spoken of the Old Covenant of the law being symbolic until the time of the Reformation, which came through Jesus. As we learn from Hebrews chapter 9, verses 6 through 10, quoted from the New King James Version. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 9, the New International Version states, This is an illustration for the present time, indicating that the gifts and sacrifices being offered were not able to clear the conscience of the worshiper. In Hebrews chapter 9, verses 11 through 15, the author of Hebrews puts his focus on the insufficiencies of the Old Covenant law being fulfilled through Jesus. Our high priest Jesus came with the power to cleanse your conscience. So we learn from Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14, quoting from the New King James Version, as he did not offer the blood of animals for a sacrifice, but offered his own blood, as he entered the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. We learn from Hebrews chapter 9, verse 12, and 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 through 22. The Apostle Paul tells us in Romans chapter 6, verses 10 and 11, quoting from the English Standard Version, For the death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The author of Hebrews then ties all this together as the reason for Jesus being our mediator to God in heaven, as he states in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15, quoting from the New King James Version, And for this reason he is the mediator of the new covenant by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions under the first covenant that those who are called may receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. This is the promise and example of Jesus, our Redeemer and Mediator to God in heaven. The author of Hebrews helps us better understand the theological implications of the Bible and God's great plan of salvation for humanity. The author of Hebrews is helping us to understand the reasons why God has implemented the things in the Bible in the order and fashion in which he did. God is faithful and just. He will give you the opportunity to find out for yourself, as he has with me, to discover that you cannot find peace for your heart through the things of this world, no matter how glamorously coded Satan presents them. It is only through submitting one's life to Jesus that he paid the price that sets us free from sin. We cannot accomplish on our own because we cannot accomplish something that has already been accomplished for us. But we have to learn to trust in him. Abram believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. As quoted from Genesis chapter 15, verse 6 in the New International Version, Abram believed in God many years before the time in which God gave the law to Moses. So if the law did not yet exist, Abram, who, whom God later changed his name to Abraham, could only have gained righteousness in the Lord's eyes through his faith in him, the same way in which you and I may obtain righteousness, through believing that as the old covenant given to man to show his insufficiencies was fulfilled by God himself as he mediates the void left by sin in which no man outside of the only pure man, Jesus, can fulfill. Dear Lord, you have given us a passion, a desire, a void in our hearts that only can be filled through accepting the fulfillment of Jesus. Please help us to see that we cannot fill the void in our hearts on our own through the things or possessions of this world, but that it is a place that you created in our hearts for you and only for you that can, full, that can fill this spot through your Holy Spirit given freely to all who will believe in you by accepting the free gift in Christ Jesus. You are love. We learn from 1 John chapter 4, verse 8 and verse 16. And love is not forceful. You will not force yourself upon us. You are bound by love in that we must accept your great gift of love for us, for the circle of love to be made complete. From you to us and back to you before the free gift of love of Christ Jesus that fills the void in our hearts for eternity can be made complete in Christ. Please open our eyes, hearts, minds, and souls to our Savior Jesus, that it may be so. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.